going on? There's zero penetration. That's the darnest thing I've ever seen. This bullet is the most destructive piece of uh, ammunition that there is. It stopped every round. We're able to take metal to a new level. If you came up with this, you'd be 100 years ahead of your time. But I said, well, welcome to the 22nd century. Why, guy? You know, why aren't you changing it? Why are you not trying to make it better? Call it magic dust. Because basically what we're doing is we just put it into the um, metals as, as a powder system to allow the cry run to um, be put into the metals at, like a time release capsule. Then the metals, they separate into the mix. They combine into the matrix of the whatever base metals that we're using. The regular physics, the ballistic physics, as bullets hit, you have further and further and further penetration. With our product, the first hit is usually the furthest in, in measurement. Then it slows up, slows up, slows up. Every time you hit it, the material shock hardens. Officer, thank you for letting us be here for this. Uh, my name is Bob Lewis. I'm Group Commander for Special Operations for the Collier County Sheriff's Office in Naples, Florida. I'm still active duty. I've been on the job for 25 years. And uh, part of my good fortune is being associated with NTOA, which is Na National Tactical Officers Association. And I'm on a technical work group for them through NIJ, uh, specifically geared towards SWAT technology. I came across this last November in uh, Orlando, Florida, uh, when Mr. Bork tapped me on the shoulder and says, come here and take a look at this armor. What I saw amazed me, and, and the reason it amazed me, I was a sniper for 15 years, and he showed a video, high speed, of a 223, I think it was a 223, 762.5, being fired into one of his panels, and there was virtually no spalling. That caught my attention, and I asked to see the, the video again, and again, no spalling. We started shooting all these panels with everything from handgun to rifle. Uh, it progressed into use of uh, IEDs against it to see what it would do. Uh, some of the panels here, uh, thin line and some of our in conjunction panels, uh, they were shot multiple times in excess of 100 rounds on some of these. You can still hear the bullets rattling around in them. I'll pull it out so you can see them. They're still in there. And there's no defects on the back. Uh, some of the IED shots we got into, uh, this is a thin line. Quarter inch, the thinnest one. I did a standalone shot against this. Uh, it was an eight inch steel pipe loaded with six ounces of C4 with a 50 grain dead cord kicker with about a 14 inch standoff. Now we're talking frag velocity of about five miles per second. I've got one defect. You can see some of the frag stopped in it. And the, uh, the remaining frag that went through was caught in the panel behind it. So there was no penetration of the body. That really got me. It's my job to make sure our people out there have the best material on their bodies because I don't think anybody in this crowd likes funerals, especially when it's our war fighters or law enforcement officers. It's our duty to make sure they have the best. So far, this is this is, this is the absolute best on the planet. I've never seen any more. The following is fragmentation of the bullet. Uh, when it strikes something, it comes apart. And if we can defeat that, stop these fragments from striking, we can eliminate injury and death. Involved with SWAT for almost 30 years. From five feet. Why talk? First up, the Cryron Ultralife Plate. It weighs a mere 370 grams, about the same as a can of pop. Cease fire, cease fire. Line is clear. Four rounds are still on the plate. Nothing came through the other side. That's the darnest thing I've ever seen. Next up, a high-powered rifle test for the heavy ceramic armor currently in use by the military. Already on fire line. It does not pass the test. We definitely have penetrations here and here. Those right there show don't lie. The bullets just don't lie. And parts of the plate crumble and shoot out razor sharp shards of ceramic. Now let's see what ours does. For this test, they bring out the big boy, the Pryron Terminator armor. This is what you call the real deal. Fine, ready. I don't will. Can it withstand that kind of punishment? We have zero penetration. This will save lives, there's no doubt. This, this will, will keep everybody in the fight. The military and law enforcement communities continue to watch what Fork Industries are producing. Armor plates in use right now are ceramic. Not only are they heavy, but they're weakened by impact, like when they hit the ground.